Hi, I'm Lessa Logan, and welcome to my Kawhi studio. We're here in Los Angeles, and this is brand new. First YouTube video in the new space. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you are in LA, I would love to see you. You're welcome to come and have a session with me. Um, but in the meantime, we now have a great space to film and tell you about everything you're wanting to know. So one of the things that I've been like working out with um, people in group settings is going from standing to sitting and sitting to standing. And it's because a lot of people like to, you know, do things like this and then they put their hand down. But, you know, what if you didn't have an arm? <laughs> you couldn't do that. But also like in life, and there are studies to prove this, the more things you need to touch to sit down and stand up, the shorter your life is. I don't know the name of it, but if you want it, I will research it, but there is a massive study on um, literally every point you need to touch to go from standing, sitting to standing, standing to sitting, it takes off about 10 years in your life. So um, they studied thousands of people and they just said, okay, please get on the ground and then stand up off the ground. And the people who touched the less things, the least amount of things, they lived an average of 30 years longer. Boom. I would like to live that way too. And it's as simple as just being able to go from sitting to standing. So in Pilates, in the mat classes I teach every week, we go from standing to sitting. And it isn't the easiest thing. I think it'd be really easy, but especially if you've got knee stuff, back stuff, hip stuff, it can take a lot out of you. So first you would cross one ankle over the other, one arm over the other, and you go down. Now, most people pitch forward, stick their butt out, and then they lose their balance, right? So um, you could also think about in yoga, they'll go from a squat to sitting. And then they do like a mini rolling like a ball and then they go from standing up so you can do it uncrossed as well but just in general when you start a mat series you would go with it crossed and you find this rolling like a ball shape by the time you get to the ground so to me it would make sense the more you work on your rolling like a ball the more you're able to do the transition to go from standing to sitting so a couple things that I like to do, well, I'm like about, let me show you, is you grab your ankles and you rock back and up. Now it looks easy enough, right? Feet should not touch, rock back and up the mountains. But a lot of people, when they go back, they fling their feet over and then they get stuck. And then they can't stop themselves. They fling their feet, they get stuck. If they can get up, they get up, right? You should keep the space the same between your heels and your seat and your thighs and your stomach. So a couple ways to practice being able to do that. You could put a ball between your heels and your seat and we have that on um, one of our tutorial videos on the like a ball so you can check that out. Um, where you put the ball here and you don't let go of it. We also have you a ball here and you don't let go, let go of it. So it's in the prep videos for like a ball. You can also take a bar and you can put it here. And what this will do is it will help keep things close. Now you can still fling your feet. So if you're a feet flinger, put this ball there too. And you're going to try to rock back and rock up. And what you'll notice is you really have to get your hips up. So you can't just go here and then expect to get back up. You've got to use your low belly and your butt to get your butt up off the ground. Right? And so what that does is so it really helps stretch out your spine. Now we're not just massaging it, we're trying to use our stomach muscles to open up our back, right? So that when we go to squat down, we have a nice open back, strong stomach. Okay, so another thing you can do to practice doing that is when you rock back, you can plant your feet and try to lift one inch off the ground. Rock back, plant your feet, just try to lift one inch off the ground. One more time, rock back, Plant your feet, try to lift one inch off the ground. Okay? Practice that. And then as you're doing your mat workout, um, there are several ways to end your mat workout. A lot of times it's with seal. So then when you end with seal, a lot of people then cross their legs to come up. Now, I'm not saying that that's bad. I was taught that too. And I think it's fine. But if you have knee injuries, it's not ideal also you end up using the same foot all the time to come up, and so does that make you even? Um, if you end with control balance, which is what I do, I usually end with this exercise where one leg is up and one leg is down, and then I bring both legs together 
and then I land, my feet are parallel, right? So when I land, it's that same prep, but instead of stopping at one inch, I go all the way up. Okay, so practice going down through your rolling like a ball. Practice your rolling like a ball. And then practice just using your seat and your stomach to lift you one inch up. One inch up. And then one day, you'll be able to stand up. All right, my hope for you is that that becomes not really easy for you. If you've got knee stuff, let me know. I have modifications. I have ways to strengthen the seat. Um, I have broken this knee before, so it's not, I definitely am aware that some of the knee things make it really difficult. But please make sure that you are being mindful of your body and then take it in stages. If you need more stages than that, comment below. I'll get it for you. For more videos from me, please subscribe below. And for weekly classes, go to onlinepilotesclasses.com. It's $5 a week for a 30-minute class. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.